Okay. Oh, we started right, right to question seven. So, <laughs> question seven, part one. It says, uh, we've got these two loci, that one there and, and there. And um, sketch in a single argon diagram, the loci C1 and C2. Okay, so you were, in fact, the whole thing was done on the diagram, wasn't it, with this question? And you were just given a big set of axes that you had to do something with. Do you have to draw the axes as well? Yes. So you did, yeah. Right, so here we've got our real and imaginary axes. Um, and what have we got for these things? Right, so this one, argument of Z. Right, remember what we do, the first thing we always do is to rewrite this as Z minus, now that needs to be 2 plus 2i, doesn't it? And that's pi by 4. So that means we're looking for the point 2 plus 2i, so 2 on the real term of imaginary, so that's the point there. And we need to mark clearly where that point is, either with coordinates or you know, labelling it on the graph or whatever. And it would be pi by 4. So that is a half line starting from there and going at about 45 degrees because it's pi by 4 in that direction. Um, I, I'm not sure, I'm really honestly not sure about this, whether you need to put a little arrow to indicate that the line is infinite in that direction but not in that direction on the end of it. I think it's probably enough to do what you did and draw the line. So I, I, some of you have put little arrows on, but I'm, I'm, still, I'm not 100% sure whether you have to have that there. But we're showing that that is at 45 degrees, or pi by 4, and going in that direction. So there we are. Um, the other one, now the other one, z and z minus 10. Now remember this one, this is the perpendicular bisector of these two points. So what we're looking for is the perpendicular bisector of zero, in that case, and the point 10 on the real axis in this case. So there's zero and there's 10. So the perpendicular bisector of that, halfway between them, is at 5. And we want a vertical line going through the point 5. And so that's our other one. One for the vertical line, but it must be clearly going through five. So there we are. Is that about halfway? That's not bad, is it? So there we go with that. So that's there's your marks. Um, a half line at approximately 45 degrees from the point 22, and a vertical line clearly going through the point five on the real axis. And, and it, you, you, you're not going to lose marks for it, but let's label our axes. Right. Indicate by shading the region of the argon diagram for which this and this are both true. So the argument is between 0 and pi by 4. Well, I think to illustrate that, I'm going to need to show um, a, a line that represents 0. So I'm just going to kind of dot in my zero line. So the argument is between there and pi by 4, so it's between that line and this line here. Now there's only two regions that could be, it's either that bit in there or this bit over here. The next bit is that the mod modulus of z needs to be greater than the modulus of z minus 10. Now think what that's saying to us. That's saying the difference, the distance from our point somewhere on this plane, the distance that it is away from z has got to be greater than the distance that it is away from 10. Does that make sense? It's going to be further away from that point, from 0, than it is from that point, 10. So where on this plane is it further away from 0 than it is from 10? Well, it's this side of that vertical line is that bit. So both of them have got to be true. So we're looking to shade in the bit that is on this side of that one, oh, here's the crayon, that'd be lovely, brown. Uh, that is um, pink. No, that is further away <laughs> from zero than it is from ten, so it's this bit over here that we're shading on, and it's, it's an infinite region, which is a bit odd, I to get you to colour in an infinite region, but there we are. Are we happy with that? I think quite a few people coloured that bit in just 
by default because it's, you expect it to be an enclosed region, but in this case it wasn't. There we go. Seven marks. <laughs>